So in this video, I'm going to talk about how I made 16% in five months with Walmart. But before I begin, just want to give a quick shout out Traviston.com for sponsoring this video. So Traviston.com keeps Canadians up to date with the latest news and trade alerts. So here's a quick overview of the, of the website. All right, so back to my Walmart trade. Here, let me show you when I bought it and when I sold it. I sold it yesterday with the uh, with the increase. First of all, how ridiculous was the stock market this week? I mean, that's why I strongly feel like sometimes it's a game. Every day this week, the Dow Jones moved triple-digit points. Monday went down close to almost 200 points just because of the feud between uh, Trump and uh, Tur Turkey's president. And then the next day on Tuesday, stock market goes back up almost 200 points. As if yesterday's news was gone, never happened. For, I mean, for the for the market to ra rally back 200 points, you would think that the news that brought it down the previous day was fixed or there was a solution. But that wasn't the case. It just went down on Monday, went up on Tuesday, went down on Wednesday, went up on Thursday. And today went down again. Regardless, I'm happy yesterday. Walmart went up uh, close to 11%. So I think it was in my RSP account or TFSA RSP. So trades. Let's put an order of symbol. So yeah, so you can see here, I bought Walmart. Buy Walmart. I bought it March 23rd at $86 and sold it August 16 at $100. So I made 16% in about f a little bit less than five months. Plus I had the chance to buy some more at 82, which I didn't because I didn't have enough liquidity. I had an order on something else at that time. And I think I also collected some dividends from Walmart at least once. Yeah, there you go, $4.68. Not much, but I didn't have much in Walmart to begin with. I only had $774 US dollars. Regardless, I'm happy that I made 16% and that my strategy does work. I've had several profitable trades this year and this year was a pretty bad year. Markets kept going. Lots of stocks went down, which created buying opportunities, but not all of them went back up yet. So right now I've got, so let's look at the rest of my portfolio right now. So I've got Bank of New York Mellon that I bought at 50.5. Looks like it closed the day at 51.69. I've got Ford that that's that's killing me right now. I bought at 10.95 and it closed at 9.55, giving me a 12% loss. I got some Ford options that I bought at a dollar, closing at 0.85, closing at 85 cents, giving me a 15% loss. So as you can see, the holdings in my TFSA, everything's positive except for Ford. So I got, I'm up 2% BK, I'm up 5% Starbucks, I'm up 3% AT&T, but Ford, I'm down 12 and 15%. So if we go to my RSP, I've got American Airlines, I'm up 2%. Dividend 15 split corp, I'm down 4%, but it start, I'm, this, is a st this is a mutual fund that I'm keeping just for the dividends that it pays out, and it started paying dividends last month, I believe, and it's a monthly distribution which is equivalent to almost 18% per year. So that's pretty good. I got Ford. Uh, that's obviously killing me. I bought at 10, closed at 9.55. So give me a 4% loss. I've got option that I bought at $1.50, closing at 85 cents, giving me a 43% loss. I've got L Brands. I'm up 3%. And WestJet Airlines that I'm down 1%, 1.5%. So right now I've got two thousand dollars us i believe i put an order on gm i want to buy some gm at 35.50 57 shares at 35.50 and and let me tell you why the first reason i put an order on gm is because it's one of the stocks that warren buffett holds in berkshire hathaway so that alone is enough for me to even put it on my watch list and look at it second reason chart wise if we look at the chart if we even look at a one year chart you could see that it's at a 52 week low or close to it so 52 week low is about 34 and a half and it's trading around 36 
I put an order at 3550 and the highest I think was 44 46 even of the year yeah 45 so that's the second reason if you look at two years so yeah it looks like it's only been above 35 for the past year another reason is it pays good dividends four percent so I like a stock that pays dividends so that if it takes time for the stock to recover and go back up while I'm collecting something while waiting Mar big market cap 51 billion it's GM it's not going anywhere revenues is big not growing but it's still 145 billion per year you can it, that's not a company that's going to disappear but they're not growing and that's probably why the stock is dropping net income well they lost money in 2017 so that's probably another reason let's look at the last four quarters so their revenue for the last four quarters is stable but their net income they've been losing money the first two quarters but They've, been, they've, re, they've recovered the last two quarters. Um, let's look at reports. So reports from experts. So there's a strong buy recommendation with a 12-month target price of 43. Let's see Morningstar, get probably high fair value, a $44 fair value. So all these reasons give me enough confidence to, to buy GM and put an order on it. So I put an order today at 35.5. It didn't go through. I think the lowest it reached today was... 35.91 okay so yeah but I'm also considering some other stocks I'm considering Alibaba also near a 52 week low it's got a huge market market cap of 400 447 billion so almost half a trillion market cap so that's very nice I don't like the fact that it doesn't pay dividends so that's that disappoints me I mean revenues growing also really really good revenues 2017, 158 billion as much as GM. 2018, though, 250 billion. So, really good growth. Really good growth. 2015, 76 billion. 2018, 250 billion. So, revenue is crazy. Net income, uh, stable. Up and down. Don't know why the stock is dropping, though. Numbers look good. So, probably uh, all these drop shippers and people selling on Amazon is probably the reason why this stock is, this company is selling so much. Another stock I'm, I was considering is Lending Tree. 52 week low of 205, 52 week high of 400, 3 billion market cap, no yield though, doesn't pay any dividends, but reports give it a strong buy with I think a $300 target price, one year target price. And it's in a good industry. It's a, it's a middleman between consumers and and lenders. So they simplify the process for for people to, for individuals to find the best mortgage, the best loans, the best auto loans, business loans. I think they do credit cards also. Yeah, credit cards. And then they get a commission. So very simple business plan, business model. And I believe revenue was is growing. 2014, 167 million. 2017, half 618 million. So almost, well, more than half a billion. Net income, not so great. When they made 618 million, they only profited profited 16 million. So what's that? 16 on 618. They're probably spending a lot on marketing to market their website. 16 divided by 618. So 2.5% profit margin. They could probably do better. Once they get known and it's probably... See, advertising only in 2014, they haven't been spending it in advertising. So what, what's with the biggest... The biggest expense here is selling general admin expenses. 504, definitely. And yeah, but they probably included advertising expenses under that. So if you have any suggestions, uh, right now I have an order on GM, but I'm willing to change... I'm hesitating between, as I told you, Alibaba and Lending Tree. If you have if you have other stock tips, please mention them in the comments below, or send me an email, or send me a message via my website. I'll provide the link below. So yeah, just wanted to show you a quick update on my stock market portfolio, and how I made 16% in less than five months with Walmart, and how simple it is and effortless it is. I basically just keep big name companies on my watch list I was obviously Walmart was on the list and then I saw it then I saw it was slowly dropping and then when it then it got then when it got really far from 
its 52 week high it started looking attractive bought it it went i think i bought it at 86 and then it dropped it kept moving between 82 and 86 i thought of buying some more at 82 but uh, i bought something else instead i believe i don't remember so my only regret is not buying more i only put in uh, 775 dollars so that's what i'm going to try to do right now is instead of making like i think percentage wise I'm, I'm making good gains but it's always on small dollar amounts so i'm going to try to put more dollar per trade so i'm going to try to trade with at least two thousand dollars every trade should be at least two thousand dollars so at least my when i make good gains dollar wise it, it becomes worth it so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below or send me a message uh, on my website also if you're gonna if you can open an account with Questrade, don't forget to use my refer referral code at the bottom of the video so we can both get between $25 and $250, depending on your initial deposit, of course. Thanks for watching.